Hey, my beauties. Hey, my chicas. Hey, my glow queens. Happy Wednesday. I think I finally got these days right. But happy hump day. We are eight days into our rectacular holiday. Hashtag rectacular holiday or hashtag um, festive fashion or fashion festive because, you know, if you're getting all judged up for the cause, this is a campaign that I started last Tuesday, which makes us eight days into 10 days of Christmas. I think yesterday I said eight days, but today is actually eight days because Christmas is Friday. Yes, I got it. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to come in here real quick, but, you know, just to remind you guys to wear your red in honor of those loved ones that we have been talking about that are not with us on this earth physically to enjoy um, holiday moments on this year. But that's okay. Because we've talked about rallying around each other, loving those that are here, those that we can give that tactile sensation to, those that we can cuddle and love on and cook for and, you know, do Zoom videos. So that's what it's all about, you know, to be living amongst the living, not to exist. We don't want to just exist. We want to be living and thriving if we're going to be amongst others that are living and thriving and you know that energy just kind of bounces off of each other so let's go with that you know i'm always talking about let's go with that flow so let's go with that energy flow that positive energy right so today my fashion festive ensemble is i'll start at the top i have this animal print beret that i usually don't ever 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 wear i'm really not a hat person but here lately they are just beautiful i've been seeing so many berets and fedoras and you know baseball caps with all the bling so i'm really getting into that i'm really um wanting to just you know switch some things up and just you know just come out of that monotonous um fear of fashion so to speak because you know fashion is becoming my passion i love it i love all aspects of it ever since i was um, you know, younger, you know, being in little fashion shows and, and modeling and I went to a modeling school and I wanted to be, I've always wanted to be an assistant or, or, or a fashion designer, if not that, an assistant to the fashion designer for the stars, for the celebrities. So anyway, let me move on. And then I have this animal print um, top or blouse. It is um, kind of V-neck, not a low V-neck, you know, classy, elegant V-neck. I have this um, Lily and Sadie necklace. It's like a chunky necklace and has like this marble centerpiece right here that is just beautiful to just kind of break the um, pattern and monotony of the color. So I came on down with this narrow red belt just to kind of cinch my waist and then come on down with this skirt. Um, I got this from Tasha Weston um, uh, Facebook Boutique. Um, I'm trying to think of her business name. Stay less, wait a minute, stay fly for less. That's it, stay fly for less. And it is red and it, feels, it looks wool. Um, I don't know what it looks like on the camera. I got some paper right here on it. Um, but it's a comfortable material. And then it has these flowers etched all the way from the waistband all the way down the side. And it's so pretty because I'm also getting into the flowers and the roses um, or what have you, all that, you know, the natural aspect of it. Of um, that element, and then come on down to these shoes, honey. Look at my shoes, love. I told y'all when I can get these narrow feet in, I love love. So, I have been really lucky the last couple of months, you know, ordering shoes offline that are really fitting my feet, just really going with my ensemble, switching it up. Um, so yeah, so this is my ensemble for today, kind of, you know, that power to the people vibe, you know, got that feeling going on. Um, what else? Oh, my bracelet, I have an animal print bracelet. I'm going to come up close. Animal print bracelet with the bling. I believe this is paparazzi and this is a necklace since I'm here. I got my, um, Afro comb earrings on. So like I was really feeling that, that vibe this morning. Like, come on in, like, you know, judge it up for the people. Let's do it for the people. Do it for the cause. Do it for the culture. So I cannot wait to see y'all pictures today. Thank you again for those who are participating in our rectacular holiday campaign. Wear your red, whatever you want to wear, your earrings, your hat, your skirt, pants, top, shoes, sock. Does not matter as long as you know red is the color 
you know, for love. It is our heart. We wear our hearts on our sleeve. You know, we just ooze love. And, you know, and it, that's how it's supposed to be. And we're going to be in this world. We have to learn to love unconditionally, which is so hard because we're human. The flesh gets involved. So, you know, I know that's why I have to do a lot of praying and meditation and, you know, doing things afraid. Doing things afraid and saying things afraid is just the key. That's just what we got to do. You know, each day, you know, hopefully it gets easier and easier, you know, for us to let bygones be bygones. You know, because life is so short. So, anyway, with that being said, I will be out of here. Hashtag Retacular Holiday or hashtag Fashion Festive. Post pictures. If you don't want to post a picture, at least just comment Retacular Holiday. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And we have two more days until Christmas. Of course, the grand boys are just giddy, giddy, giddy. And I think I'm more giddy than they are. So, anyway. We shall see what the next two days is going to bring us. Hopefully more joy, more cheer. You know, everybody is more giddy and happy and excited and exuberant. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to be out of here, y'all. I love you. I got work to do today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.